Aquarius, so a message I was getting for you guys was um, being unsure about what to do about a relationship or a friendship or um, whatever the case may be. I just feel that something may be on your mind or something just may be bothering you about this person or maybe you feel like this person isn't like the best for you. Um, whatever it is, I'm just feeling a lot of uncertainty around what you should do. Um, I do want to give a big thank you to everyone who has joined my Patreon, also to everyone who has subscribed to my second channel. The links to those will be down below. Also, for those of you interested in ordering a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com, where I have different options of different readings you can purchase. So we do have the Queen of Cups energy here. Some of you guys can be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And I kind of feel that this is somebody that maybe wants to come back into your life. We do have the Emperor card energy here. So I feel like this is the energy you guys are sitting in. Um, just very much so focused on yourself, focused on career, business, um, and things like that. We do have the Strength card and the Seven of Cups. So I almost feel that some of you guys are trying to find like the strength or the courage to walk away from the situation. For some reason, I'm getting some of you are just not interested in continuing if things are not going to change. I don't know why. I'm just getting a very... I mean, I guess you could say toxic, but I'm just getting a situation that maybe just be um, that is holding you back or you feel as if the situation is holding you back. So we do have the Nine of Swords and the Six of Swords. Some of you guys are going to decide to just move on, um, cut your losses and just let the situation go. Um, Nine of Swords, this is just being very in your head, um, just thinking too much. And I do feel that some of you guys are just going to be done with that energy, not worrying about this person. It almost seems like you're noticing or realizing now that this person takes a lot of um, energy from you. And I do feel that a lot of you are kind of noticing that um, in order for you to really be able to like attract and manifest the things that you want in your life, you're going to have to let this person go. Eight of Cups energy and the Three of Pentacles. So yeah, a lot of you guys are going to be walking away from a situation um, or the advice is to walk away from a situation. I am getting strong Leo energy here. Also Aries. What is the energy surrounding Aquarius? Okay. Ooh, two of cups energy. So I do feel for some of you, you are going to be connecting with a soulmate. Who did I just get that card for? I think it was Capricorn. Yeah, I think um, some of you guys may be connecting with a Capricorn. We do have the ace of wands here and the seven of swords. So I do feel like something's not going to go as planned, but I almost feel like this is going to be a good thing for you. Ace of wands energy. This is... For some reason, I feel this is an opportunity that's coming your way. Something that allows you to be creative or to use your creativity. Yeah, it's going to bring you a lot of financial um, abundance as well. We do have the Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. So whatever this opportunity is, maybe you sell something. Maybe you're selling your house, selling art. Um, I don't know why they just told me record deal. Maybe some of you guys are mu musicians, um, something like that. But I definitely feel that some sort of contract or pay is going to provide you with long-term financial stability so for those of you that are kind of focusing on your creativity and your hobbies and things like that do continue to do that or the advice is to get more into that because that is what's going to bring you um, the type of money you're trying to manifest so we do have the queen of wands energy you can be dealing with the fire sign Aries, leo sad but kind of to me this is um the energy you're embodying just the queen of wands energy does what she needs to do she's very creative um is very focused on taking action and doing whatever, just taking whatever next step that she needs to take. So I do feel like this is the advice for you guys um, or just the energy that you are walking into. We do have the Justice card energy here with the Seven of Pentacles. It makes me feel as we walk into Libra season, things are going to start, you're going to start seeing results from something. So definitely could be something that you're doing, could be an exercise program, um, anything like that. But you really are going to start seeing growth in your business or whatever the case may be. It almost just seems like an obstacle that you're facing right now is either one, a person that you're dealing with and maybe they're getting your way, but also this could be you getting in your own way, being in your head, Knight of Swords energy, um, being like fearful of is this going to be successful or is this a waste of time? Is this person a waste of time? I do feel like advice is to kind of, I mean, I know it's hard to just like get out of your head and just do it, but advice is to try. Queen of Wands energy, just take action regardless of what you feel the outcome will be or regardless if you're scared to waste your time because you won't 
um, advice is to go ahead and do what you need to do. So we do have the Ace of Cups here in the Hierophant. Some of you guys may be making a um, higher commitment to someone. Maybe you guys are going to, like, I feel like regardless of where you are in, like, a dating stage with someone, if you are, um, things are going to go to the next level. So for some of you, this is brand new love coming in. Those of you that are single um, have not really been focused on love or anything like that. I do see that coming in for you. And then I feel for some of you with the Hierophant energy, you're going to be getting married, um, going to be moving in together, something like that, where it's more of a committed, more exclusive type of relationship. I also feel some of you guys could be signing a contract, could be a car, house, something like that. Um, I do feel like it's very important for you to read that very well. Seven of Swords energy is not sitting here right with me. So if you are planning on making a big purchase um, or something like that, do be sure you know all the ins and outs of this purchase. So we do have the Three of Swords energy here. And for some reason, I don't feel like this is your energy. It could be, um, you know, heartbreak, whatever. And it could be your energy, but I don't know why I'm feeling it like an outside energy. Why is the Three of Swords here? Okay, some of you are walking away from a third party. If you have um, been kind of suspicious or you do find out that you are in a third party, um, I do see you walking away from that. And I do feel like that message is not for everyone. It's just for those of you that know damn well you're in a third party. So I do feel like that's only for those people. Um, we do get Ace of Swords energy here. So definitely, definitely walking away and ending this situation with this friend group, with this person, whoever it is, is going to set you up for success. I do feel like you're going to get a lot of clarity this month. Um on what it is this going on i mean of course we could be talking about september or october or whatever but i really feel something that you have maybe been blind to um is really it's going to come out like you're getting some it almost feels like it's someone you're going to be getting the truth about someone either that you're dating or you're friends with why is it it's a swords energy here okay Ooh, yeah queen of swords whatever it is that you find out about you are not even fucking with it. I feel like you're definitely um, going to move forward. You're going to cut this person out of your life as soon as this gets revealed to you. Why is this? It, it, what the fuck? Why is the Ace of Swords energy here? Um, I was looking at the Seven of Swords energy like, ugh, somebody's lying about something. Like, I feel like what's going on here is some of you guys are in a third party. Like, I feel like that is exactly what's going on. And I almost feel that intuitively, maybe some of you are aware of this and you've already been like kind of thinking about this, worried about this. Um, but I do see a lot of you taking the action to move on. And like, it's like you're going to see it with your own eyes. This situation tower card here at the bottom of the deck. So things, whatever it is or whoever you're with, the really lying about something like. I feel like what's going on here is some of you guys are in a third party. Like, I feel like that is exactly what's going on. And I almost feel that intuitively, maybe some of you are aware of this and you've already been like kind of thinking about this, worried about this. Um, but I do see a lot of you taking the action to move on. And like it's like you're going to see it with your own eyes. This situation tower card here at the bottom of the deck. So things, whatever it is or whoever you're with, the relationship or bond was built on a faulty foundation from the beginning. So that's exactly why this tower has to come down and shit has to fall apart so you can um, regroup and rebuild. So I see that happening for some of you. Of course, the tower is never an easy energy to deal with, but it is always very necessary. Um, this 10 of wands energy here to where you just feel stressed and overburdened with this person's shit or this person's drama. I see you dropping that um, energy. Some of you guys can be dealing with the Virgo and also in Gemini as well, Sagittarius. But regardless of this, after you do decide to make this decision to distance yourself from this person or walk away from this person or this group, you are going to start seeing a lot of healness, like a healness. You're saying you're going to start seeing a lot of happiness and you are going to start feeling a lot of healing energy and you are going to see yourself uh, move forward. And you're also going to see better results when it comes to the things that you are trying to manifest in your life. Okay. what is the advice for Aquarius oh okay Ooh, three of wands energy so I really love this three of wands this is like to me this is patience but also it makes me feel that your patience in something 
um, is going to really pay off for you. So if you've been waiting on an investment or you've been waiting on um, a new opportunity, whatever the case may be, I see this coming in for you. I also feel for those of you that have been very patient when it comes to love. Maybe you've been single for a while and you're just, you've just kind of been doing you, you know, whatever. I definitely see that paying off for you. You're attracting a soulmate. Two of Cups energy and the Ace of Cups, you're attracting someone that you are supposed to be with. Um, it could be a Taurus. I don't know why. <laughs> They're telling me Taurus so strongly, but it could be a Taurus um, coming into your life. Also, feel advice with the Nine of Cups is to do what makes you happy, especially when it comes to your creativity. Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Um, do be sure you are paying attention to your craft, your art, things like that, because people are very interested in what it is that you um, have to offer. So I do hope that this reading was helpful for you. If you would like a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Also, do go check out my lashes at jayslashes.com. Thank you so much to everyone who has supported me. They do go fast, so do place your order soon. Mm -hmm.